يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدًا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الله به الغمة فاللهم صلِّ وسلِّم وزد وبارِك على نبينا محمدٍ وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين عباد الله يقول الله تعالى في كتابه العزيز بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون ثم أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Today, bi'ibnillahi ta'ala, we'll be talking about one from the great manners which the believers should have especially in these blessed nights and days especially in the last two nights of Ramadan Shahrul Baraka, Shahrul Khair in this blessed month if you do not have this manner you have to check your heart again you have to check your Iman you have to check your state, the state of your heart. You have to check it again. This manner is al afu wal maghfirah عند الشدائد. Forgiveness, to forgive even though in the way of suffer, to just forgive and to forget anyone who harms you, Anyone who oppressed you, just forgive and forget. Be in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala better than the one who oppressed you. Be better than him or be better than her. In the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially in these last minutes and hours from this blessed month. Let me sail with you from the stories which happened thousands of years ago. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned it in the Holy Quran, which we are reciting during Ramadan. If you are reciting Al-Quran and you do not take benefits from that which you recite, that means you just recite for nothing. Allah has sent us Al-Quran, especially in this month, Shahr Ramadan, الذي أنزل فيه القرآن ويا الله because it's بينات it's guidance it's signs it's benefits for us to take it الله أكبر the story of سيدنا يوسف nobody doesn't know it even non-Muslim people they know it story of يوسف يوسف عليه السلام all people know it all people love it all people listen to it all people recite it but let me give you hints from this story to see our Prophet Al-Habib Yusuf alayhi salam and his dad Jacob Ya'qub alayhi salam how they were forgiving those who oppressed them even in the middle of crisis in the middle of suffer they were forgiving subhanallah because my dear brothers and sisters forgiveness leads you to mercy Mercy leads you to have good treatment. Good treatment leads you to make dua and to have this peace in your heart. Four levels. Forgiveness, mercy, good treatment, making dua for the one who oppress you. Four categories. To reach to the last one, it's so hard. 
Few people only, those who reach to make dua for those who oppress them. May Allah forgive. May Allah guide them. I'm just, I forgive. I'm asking Allah to forgive me. Yes, she oppressed me. Yes, he oppressed me. Yes, they oppressed me. Yes. Then in this month, in these last two nights, Ya Akhi, just forgive. Let us learn from Sayyidina Yusuf. Alayhi wa ala nabiyyina salatu wa salam. Yusuf had three trials. Three sufferers. The first suffering, they put him in the will. Taqul riwayat for years. He was in the will. Fi dhulumat al In the darkness of the will. Years. For what? For nothing. He didn't do anything. Then his brothers oppressed him actually. And they put him in the will for years. The first suffer. The second suffer. After he got saved from the will. He had another suffer. The suffering of slavery. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا slavery. They enslaved him. For years. What is his age now? Just his age just running with the suffer, suffer after suffer. The third suffer, the third trial, the fitna which happened, and they enjailed him for years also. Allahu Akbar. Zulm after zulm, oppression after oppression. And Allah is telling us the story of Yusuf. But wait, let us take the small details in this story and benefit ourselves, my dear brothers and sisters. After he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved him from these three trials, his brothers came to him, the oppressors one, those who oppressed him, those who leaded him to these three trials. If they didn't put him in the will, nothing from these sufferers will happen. Subhanallah. Yalla, now forgiveness. The first manner. After this dhulm, O Yusuf, yes, forgiveness. He said, Alayhi wa ala nabiyyina salatu wa salam, la tathreeb alaykum al yawm. Al yawm yaghfiru Allahu lakum. Allahu akbar. The good reciters, those who make waqf in al yawm. لا تثريب عليكم اليوم. There is no blame. There is no stigma for you today. Today, اليوم يغفر الله لكم. الله أكبر. Today, Allah will forgive you. بإذنه تعالى. After these trials, O Yusuf, لا إله إلا الله. Yes. Good example. This is our examples. These are our examples, my dear brothers and sisters. They are giving us. These great situations to learn, to take benefits from their actions and manners. May Allah forgive you. Just go. Allahu Akbar. Forgiveness. Big umbrella. Now leads to mercy. Rahma in the hearts. This is the benefit of forgiveness. You won't forgive for nothing, ya akhi. Do you, remember, do you think that you will forgive for nothing? La wallah. Forgiveness, bring mercy in your heart, bring happiness in your heart, bring satisfaction in your heart, bring tranquility in your heart, sakina tama'nina in your heart. It's not for nothing, akhi. It's not for nothing. If you think like that, change your thinking. Allahu Akbar. After that, his father is talking with him in the palace after the crisis done. What happened, Yusuf? He told him, أبي من بعد أن نزغ الشيطان بيني وبين إخوتي the blaming it's not on them the blaming on الشيطان now he tries to make them innocent الله أكبر he said no الشيطان was the reason not them من بعد أن نزغ الشيطان بيني that means the شيطان plays a شيطان plays games between me and them a shaitan was the reason, not them. After they put him in the, in the will for years, and this action lead him to be in the slavery for years, and that leads him to be in the jail for years. He said, a shaitan, who is the one who did this, not them. Nazagh al-shaytan, bayni wa bayna ikhwati. So bayni, 
between me and my brothers. He doesn't say between me and my enemy. Among us, wallahu, ala ma aqulu shaheed, people consider their brothers as an enemy. My brother, don't say my brother. He's my enemy. He did this and this and this and this. Among us, people say that and believe in that. They don't like even to mention the name of their brother. But Sayyidina Yusuf said, as shaitan did it between me and my brothers. Allahu Akbar. Shuf the rahmah, the mercy, but it comes after forgiveness. Now let us go to the third thing. Good treatment from Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salam. How he treated his brothers after this crisis. He hosted them in his palace. After he became the chief minister of Egypt, he brought all of them. اذهبوا بقميصي هذا فألقوه على وجه أبي يأتي بصيرا وأتوني بأهلكم أجمعين Take my shirt, put it in the face of my father. He will become good. He will have his sights back. Then come to my palace, all of you. وأتوني بأهلكم أجمعين Come. Imagine my dear brother and sister. أخي وأختي, imagine that. You have a trial with your brothers for years. And you were poor. And they treated you bad. When you became rich and you have big palace in Boston or in anywhere, then you are inviting them with a VIB invitation to host them in, their, in your palace. Imagine that. How comes? How comes this? Yes, it comes because of the manner of forgiveness which Sayyidina Yusuf السلام, had it, which Allah is telling us to take benefits from it. Allahu Akbar. Yiba now, Forgiveness, mercy, good treatment. Let us go with Sayyidina Jacob, Ya'qub, his father. Same thing. Suffering after suffering after suffering. First of all, he lost one from the most beloved person in his heart, Yusuf, he lost him. Second of all, he lost the second son. Then, he lost it, alayhi salam, his eyesight. If anyone like in, in his like situation he would die, he would prefer to die. My sons and my eyesight. Trial. Suffer. Now let us check the three things. Forgiveness, Rahma, mercy, good treatment. They lead you to make dua, maybe. But let us say like sail with these things, Allahu Akbar. Forgiveness. They came to his dad. Ya abana, istaghfir lana dhunubana. Inna kunna khati'in. O oh, our dad, seek forgiveness for us. We were wrong. What he said. He should at least blame them. He should at least tell them why you did this. Then after that, ma, ma, sha Allah, ma, he will forgive them. But at least blaming why you did this. You put me in this situation for years. You put your brother in this bad situation in years. Why you did this? He didn't even say. He didn't even say why you did that. Staghfir lana dhunubana. Seek forgiveness. O oh, our dad, from our sins, we were wrong. Qala, sawfa astaghfiru lakum rabbi. I will. I will seek forgiveness for you. Allahu Akbar. The manner of forgiveness, my dear brothers and sisters, which we don't have it now. Few of us have it, but يعني, many people, they don't have this. After al maghfira what about al rahmah Did he have mercy in his heart? See this mercy, this kind of mercy. When they were talking with him about Yusuf alayhi salam, he said, Inni la ajidu riha Yusuf. I can feel the breeze of Yusuf alayhi salam. Allahu Akbar. How his heart, like, how, how is the beauty in his heart? Sayyidina Yaqub alayhi salam. He was loving his son in the level that he was imagining. He was imagining that how the breeze was beautiful. Inni la ajid. I can tell. I can feel the breeze. Of Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salam, Allahu Akbar. 
forgiveness and mercy. The last thing that good treatment, how he treated them. Imagine that. Your son make this big trouble for you. They were going to Egypt and he told them one thing. Ya baniya, wa qala ya baniya, la tadkhulu min babin wahid. Wadkhulu min abwabin mutafarriqa. O sons, do not enter from one door. Distribute yourself because of the envy, of the hasad of others. You were taking care of them, O Yaqub. Even after this crisis, they did all these horrible things. And you were afraid for them. Don't enter from one door. Enter from multiple doors because of the envy. Allahu Akbar. See the good treatment? It comes from mercy. And mercy comes from forgiveness. My dear brothers and sisters. In another ayah he said, Ya bani yadhabu fatahassasu min Yusuf wa akhi wa la tayasu min rawhillah. Oh my son, just go and search about Yusuf. Just go. Bi you will find him. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Listens, my dear brothers and sisters. Wallahi al-Azim. Listens after listens. I'm asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum fastaghfir. Inna alhamdulillah. Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gfiruhu. Wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. We spoke about three things: forgiveness, mercy, good treatment. What about the fourth one? الدعاء. To even make dua for the one who oppress you. It's so hard. I know. Nobody does that. I know that. But let us take our examples. Let us take these lessons from our real examples. The Prophet and Messengers alayhim salatu was salam. Starting from Yusuf alayhi salam. He was in the middle of the crisis. He got jailed, in jailed years, in the will, in the slavery. And he is making dua now for his Lord. Why he has to say, Oh Lord, you did this for me. Oh Lord, I was in the trouble. This is the regular dua, yes? You ask something from Allah. You just, oh Allah, this thing happened to me, please. You, this is the way of a dua. In the way of Sayyidina Yusuf is different. Allahu Akbar. He said, Rabbi, Qad ataytani min al mulk. Oh Lord, you give me from the kingdom. Allahu Akbar. Yes, he gave you from the kingdom, but after years. But also you were in the jail. No, he doesn't remember. The badness and the trials. He's making dua now. He is acknowledging the benefits, the goodness which Allah has given to him. Before he asks, this is the adab of a dua. To acknowledge something to your Lord before you ask anything. It's not an opposite way. Kind of blaming. Oh Allah, you did this for me. Why? لا يا حبيبي. Oh Allah, you did this good thing for me. And you forget the bad things. Rabbi, قَدْ آتَيْتَنِي مِنَ الْمُلْكِ Oh Allah, you gave me from the kingdom. وَعَلَّمْتَنِي مِنْ تَأْوِيلِ الْأَحَادِيثِ You gave me something from the interpretation of dreams. He was interpreting the dreams in the jail. And he forget the jail. And he remember in his dua, the goodness which happened in the jail. All people will remember the jail time, the jail period. He was remembering the good thing which happened in the jail. Not the bad thing. Not the whole thing. He was in jail. He doesn't remember the jail. He remembered the goodness which happened in the jail. Oh Allah, you taught me. Min ta'wil al-ahadith. How to interpret the dreams. Allahu Akbar. Rabbi qad ataytani min al-mulk. Wa'allamtani min ta'wil al-ahadith. Allahu Akbar. Fatir al-samawati wal-ard. You are the one who perfected. The heavens and the earth, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anta waliyi fi dunya wal akhira. O Allah, you are my wali. Al walaya fi lugal arabiya in Arabic language means something so close. Ahmed yali Muhammad. That means Ahmed, it's near to Muhammad. Something close. He's telling Allah that, O oh Allah, you are my wali. In the dunya, in the akhira. 
I don't need anyone from these guys. And yes, I was in troubles and trials, but you are my wali. You still my wali. In a dunya wal akhirah. Then, yalla, now ask Yusuf. Harfiyan, <laughs> literally, 75% from a dua, he is acknowledging goodness from Allah. Where is the dua? The dua is coming now. Tawaffani musliman, alhiqni bil salihin. This is the dua. Two sentences. Four sentences acknowledging to Allah with the goodness. And two sentences just dua. And what is the dua? Something in the dunya? No, he asks something in the akhirah. Tawaffani musliman. Let me die on al Islam. Then let me combine the righteous one in the Jannah. Allahu Akbar. But what about dunya? Can you forget about the dunya and the trials of the dunya? He was smart. He's thinking about something in al akhirah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Forgiveness lead to mercy. Mercy lead to good treatment. Good treatment and mercy and forgiveness lead you to have dua like this way. Tawaffani musliman wa alhiqni bil salihin. It was Sayyidina Yusuf and Ya'qub. Let me just take another example from Sayyidina al-Habib al-Mustafa, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And his companion, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, radiallahu an Abu Bakr, wa an al-Sahabati jami'an. Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah is addressing him in the middle of Surah Muhammad. In the time of difficulty, in the time of crisis, the crisis of Mushrikeen Mecca, they were torturing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions. And Allah is sending him this ayah, Makki ayah. Fa'alam, no, O Muhammad, annahu la ilaha illa Allah. Wastaghfir li dhambik. Allahu Akbar. O Muhammad, know that there is no God but me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ Seek forgiveness for yourself and seek forgiveness for the believers. Allahu Akbar. Ya Akhi, you are in the middle of the crisis. People, these believers are torturing you. Do not forget your brothers. Who is making dua for his brothers? In easy time, not difficult time. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Something about aqeedah, about monotheism, about tawheed. And there is connection with good manner to seek forgiveness for your brothers from the believers. Allahu Akbar. وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ Allahu Akbar. We don't have time to sail with Abu Bakr al-Siddiq story for those who يعني, oppressed him and make rumors about his daughter Aisha Siddiq radiallahu anha. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Abu Bakr, وَلَا يَأْتَلِ أُولُوا الْفَضْلِ مِنْكُمْ وَالسَّعَةِ أَنْ يُؤْتُوا أُولِي الْقُرْبَى وَالْمَسَاكِينَ وَالْمُهَاجِرِينَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَالْيَعْفُوا وَالْيَصْفَحُوا أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Allah is addressing Abu Bakr after the crisis. It was a big crisis. They accused his daughter as a zaniya, wal'iyadu billah. Okay? After this crisis, after that, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq was giving sadaqah for someone from his relatives. In this crisis, this brother from his relatives was surrendering him and his daughter. Then he just stopped the sadaqah. This is what Abu Bakr did. Allah said, no. Forgive. أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Do you love to have forgiveness from your Lord? Then forgive. Then the Sahaba said, بَلَا Yeah, we do love. Okay, just forgive. Forgive who? The one who salandered me. The one who make these rumors about me, about my dignity, my honor. How could that I have to forgive? You want to reach to the level of Sahaba and messengers and prophets like Yusuf and Yaqub? وَمُحَمَّدْ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ وَسَلَّمْ Abu Bakr Siddiq, go ahead. وَلْيَعْفُ وَلْيَصْفَحُ Abu Bakr sent him the sadaqah back and he forgave him. Our examples. Allahu Akbar. What about you in these last three minutes? Let us talk about you, about myself and you. What about your relatives? 
What about my relatives? What you are doing with them? Oh, I don't call my brother four years ago because he was so silly with me last time that I called him. He doesn't respond in good way. Then I have been four years cutting the connections and the ties because he doesn't respond to me good. Allah, ya Habibi. Ya Habibi. Ya Habibi, forgive. Ya Habib, forget. Just leave it. Move on. Forgive and forget now. A shaitan will come to you now. We still have two nights. My brothers, brothers, sisters. We still have a chance. Two nights. Wallahi, a shaitan will come to you. Okay, make it in the Eid. Will be better. Why you make it now? Call them in the Eid and make this connection again in the Eid. Eid, but people are happy. Shaitan is taking you. Don't make it in these two nights. Yeah, Ramadan, I know, but the Eid is better. This is what a shaitan says. Then in the first day of the Eid, the shaitan will come back. Oh, this is the first day of Eid. All people are busy. They are slaughtering something. They have, you know, second day. Next day, right away in the morning, I will call. Then in the morning, he was sleeping, something happened. Then a shaitan laughs. Okay, okay, okay. Next Eid, inshallah. In Eid al-Adha. Yeah, you know? Do not obey your shaitan tonight. Tonight, after the khutbah, take your phone. Anyone that you cut the ties with him, call him back. Say, عَفَ اللَّهُ عَمَّا سَلَفِ أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Allah said this to who? To the sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do you love that Allah forgive you? Okay. Then forget. فَلْيَعْفُ وَلْيَصْفَحُ خلاص. وَبَعْدِينَ الْعَفْ وَالْإِصْفَحُ الْعَفْ to forgive. الْإِصْفَحْ to forget. Forgive and forget. خلاص. It's done. Allahu Akbar. We should have this in our life. I will end my khutbah with this great wa'ad, promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have this good manners with your relatives, with your parents, Allah will, Allah will accept your deeds and Allah will make tajawuz, Allah will forgive your sins. This is what we need in Ramadan. Why are we coming to the masjid today? And daily, nightly, why? For two things. Acceptance, that we wish Allah accept our deeds, yes? And to forgive our deeds, our bad one, yes? Good one to be accepted, bad one to be forgiven, yeah? Listen to this ayah in Surah Al-Ahqaf. Allah is talking with those who have good relationships with their parents in the beginning of the Safha. Allah is talking with those who have good relation with their parents and those who make dua for their parents and they forgive any isa. Allah said two promises. Allah will accept the best of their deeds. Allah will forgive their sins. They will be with the people of Jannah. Promise from Allah. What do you want? We should end the khutbah now. We don't need anything more than this. Promise from Allah that He will accept our good deeds. He will forgive our bad deeds. Do we need anything else? Do we need anything else? Let us make dua. Allahumma aghfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit aqdamana wa ansurna ala al-qawm al-kafirin Allahumma aghfir lana ma qaddamna wa ma akharna wa ma assarna wa ma a'lanna wa ma anta a'lamu bihi minna anta al-muqaddim wa anta al-muakhir la ilaha illa ant Allahumma aj'alna min utaqaik min al-nar اللهم اجعلنا من عتقائك من النار اللهم اغفر لنا يا ربنا في هذه الليالي المباركة اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم وأقم الصلاة إن الصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقف الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله 
حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاة قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استووا استقيموا اعتدلوا الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فأنساهم أنفسهم أولئك هم الفاسقون لا يستوي أصحاب النار وأصحاب الجنة أصحاب الجنة هم الفائزون لو أن نزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين 
هو الله هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله 